Oh wow. So that's so this is that's a B6, that's the equivalent thickness of the two of the gloves. Uh, I think I'm gonna be getting that one. <laughs> if I'm buying an armor car, I'm getting that one. just to speak on Johannesburg because it's probably the first place I've been to that has been restricted. Like I feel like I can't be me, I can't do anything as an African American in a country full of African Americans or Africans, correction. Um, and it's 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 very enlightening. It's a, a humbling, life-changing experience. But I want to give you guys some tips. So straight up, I'll tell you some stories. So we we touched down in Joburg yesterday, um, and <clears throat> my advice to you in the airport: don't take out any cash. I mean, unless you, I mean, hopefully you don't fly straight into Joburg. We're actually coming from Cape Town. You'll see a video on that later. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully you don't fly straight in and you already have some um, uh, African Rand uh, before you get here because there's, there's a scam where you can, where people will listen to the machine count your money out, target you, tag you, see where you put your money, see what car you get into, and then you will get cornered off of the road or the highway or wherever you're at, wherever you're going to, and it's a, it's a coordinated attack just to get your money, depending on how much money the, the machine sound makes. Stuff you wouldn't think about, right? <coughs> Stuff you wouldn't know. <laughs> but it's real out here. Um, <coughs> what else we got? Registered taxis. My advice to you would also be take a registered taxi. So if you go to this, if you, once you get out of the airplane, go to this, go to, go out the door, go to the second floor. They got registered taxis there. Um, those taxis, if any, anything goes wrong, supposedly, um, they're registered, the people there, they go to jail. That's what I've heard, supposedly. Uh, so technically they're supposed to be safer, but who knows? Joe Berg, no rules. Um, <clears throat> another tip I heard don't go downtown um, and this is this is how this is how that was presented to me um, basically said if you go downtown you're going to their territory their turf and anything can happen period I mean people will steal for t-shirts and that's how petty petty crime is um, I'm not saying this happens every day, and then she, saying, she said it didn't happen every day, but it could happen. And it's one of those things, like, if you're on vacation, why take a chance, you know? Um, so that was one thing. Uh, another thing I've heard, oh, boy, this, this one's bad. Like, so we did try to do the Uber. We tried. It didn't work. For whatever reason, it didn't work the day we used it. We tried the black car. Uh, like, I, like I'm going to tell you guys in another video, when you're in Cape Town, you always want to use the black car. If you use an Uber, use, get a black car. Best advice you can give you. Um, <coughs> it's not that much more expensive, and it's okay. But we tried to do the black car here. Didn't work. Then they had this thing called the comfort car. Didn't work. Then we tried to get a van. Didn't work. The last option was obviously to get a regular Uber. Not happening. So didn't do it. Um, so we ended up taking a taxi, but if you are taking a taxi, be cautious because I've also heard another story where, and I've only been here, guys, less than 24, shit, has it been 24 hours? Less than 24 hours. And I've heard all these stories already. And I'm, I'm getting this from a, what I would consider a very valid source, um, <clears throat> a taxi driver. <laughs> So the, the taxi driver said to me, she, she said, uh, there's some taxis that will 
how do you say this? They will pretend to be hijacked also. And what I mean by that is like, you could be riding the taxi and some guys would basically rob the taxi and put the taxi driver at gunpoint, even though the taxi driver kind of told them where you were going and he's kind of in on it too. Um, another coordinated attack. It, it's just, it's kind of mind blowing. It's, it's, it's definitely just something you need to look out for. Um, <clears throat> I'm still debating if we're going to go out here and Joe Berg, we, right now we're in this, what we call the, the <laughs> Milrose Ark. <clears throat> the Milrose Ark is basically a place where you're safe. It's like a safe zone where as long as you don't go out by yourself, you're okay. Um, or if you go out, you got to go out in groups. Um, very different, very, very different from Cape Town. Um, <clears throat> but this is Johannesburg. And I'm, I'm sure it's a beautiful city out there. I'm probably going to go out a little later, roll the dice, take my chances, and see what happens. But I just wanted to give you some tips, um, <clears throat> straight up tips. Don't go using ATMs. I mean, you probably guys already know that, but you probably didn't know that they're like literally listening to how much money comes out of the ATM before they rob you. Like, that was that was deep. <laughs> um, what else we got? Safety zones. Yeah, safety. <laughs> Throw it out the window. <laughs> You're not safe out here. <laughs> I'm black. I'm not safe either. But you know. This is like a, a more of a tips video, so hopefully you guys, um, <clears throat> you definitely know more than I knew because I didn't know that when I got here. And I'm assuming a lot of people coming out here, they may have heard it was a not a safe place, but they probably didn't know it's like living in a little zoo. Like I'm in the zoo, like everybody behind me right now, we're in the zoo together. And we just kind of, we're just staying inside this little quadrant with the fence line around it with hotels and little shops that makes it nice and cute because once you go outside the fence line everything it, it's a whole different world south africa it's crazy but um <clears throat> yeah like i said tip video hope you learned something if you got any questions comments while i'm out here let me know mr black adventures we're gonna have some more videos coming out more exciting videos than tipsters videos but um, yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.